I thought my hair looked way better than this. <laughs> thinking about something. I know you're shocked. <clears throat> Could somebody turn my brain off at some point? You know that my brain will get stuck on these things like it's thinking about all the other things too but until I solidify one little thing I'm thinking about if it's like a choice of something my brain does not stop working. No it doesn't. We're, I'm going to get you off the holder so just hold on. But anyway, that's what I was doing yesterday. I had, I have had this new thought, not even new thought, new action I'm taking in this year. Let me see if I can tighten you up. Tighten up, will you? Oh, let's see. Okay, so this thought in this new year of really tightening in my total, my tight bubble of total focus, right? Which I already do. I know you're thinking, how much tighter can you be, Tanya? Thank you for that. But what I'm saying is, people and situations in your life that you've been assessing, like, sort of like, um, seeing them in a different light than they really are. Does this situation work for you? And do these people belong in your inner circle, I guess is the thing. So anyway, um, I was thinking about that. And also, are you 100% committed? Are you all in with whatever lifestyle you're doing? With whatever, I don't even want to just narrow it to that. With whatever goal and intention you have set for yourself. And the amount of people that have zero goals and intentions, just like whatever, is shocking to me. Because I have never gotten any results like that. Now, maybe people do, but I don't. So anyway, thinking about that, and then in this past year, I have to figure out these wipers. In this past year, let's see if we can figure it out. See, that's fast. That is really fast. In this past year, were you 100% committed to what you said you were going to do? Were you? Because if you didn't get results, are we really looking at, at it honestly? Are we continuing to play that ever familiar blame game? Like, I don't have enough time. Well, it's hard for me because, you know, that just gets you off the hook, doesn't it? it it's easier for them because, or, you know, I just have no willpower. Uh, you know, I have a hard time with well, what are you good at and how can you apply that to the situation? How can you look at this difference and you just quit giving your power and I quit giving my power away to these situations that are not working for us? Were we 100% in? You know what I mean? You're wanting to birth new habits in your life. You're wanting to, to birth a transformation. Either you're pregnant or you're not. You know what I mean? You're not kind of pregnant. You're not kind of in no... You're all in because you are creating and birthing and rebirthing the new you. What do you think? I'm just saying. This year, we can have results. At the end of the year, our results will be in direct alignment and reflection with the actions that we put into place, right? Can we control everything? Clearly not. Can we control some stuff? Yeah, we can. Are we really taking a look at what we're actually doing? Are we spending a lot of time looking away and pretending like that ain't going on today? Looking away and beginning again another day, right? Pretending like we're going to be perfect and not accepting the fact that we're perfectly imperfect right where we're supposed to be, tripping our way to success, right? People that are on their A game and have gotten results have tripped their way to success. What is the difference in that and not getting results is when they trip, they pick their self back up. They didn't lay on the ground and blame every dang body else, right? I love the empowerment of the thought process of you're making this happen or you're making an excuse. And I'm going to make it happen or I'm going to make an excuse, right? So... Go and lead I am 
deciding whether or not I think I want to renew my Costco membership, which is another whole thing. But let me fix my wipers and let's just finish this chat before we go in, shall we? Let's see. Now, are we off or are we on? Let me see. Not knowing how to do it. That is not it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so were you 100% committed to the birthing of the new goals and habits in your life, you know? Or did you get a, a little bit in and you're like, yeah, this isn't working. Is it not working or are you not working it? Are we actually willing to take a look at what we're really doing every day? Do you have a journal? Are you mapping down your thoughts? Are you looking at your, what about a time log? We think we don't have time to invest a little bit of time in ourselves, but if we invested a little bit of time in ourselves, everything in your life would be easier when you feel better and you're on your A game and you would just have given yourself, created more time in your life, free time, you know? Are you ready? If you are walking into my reset this Sunday to go big, does that mean you have to be perfect? Absolutely not. I want you to come into that reset 100% committed to 100% show up every day. Every day showing up. Ready to give love and receive love. Ready to share your knowledge and gather knowledge. You know? I mean, we can really look like, um, for example, I mean, maybe on something else besides food, you're wanting to create a new relationship in your life, but yet you never leave the house. How do you expect, and yet you you don't feel like online dating works, like it hasn't <laughs> seemed to work for different things, so what are you going to do? What is, again, for example, the new habit, I will blank. So in that scenario, maybe you will, I will go to two different environments. Maybe you're going to go to lunch, different places, two times in a week. Maybe if you work in like, I think that you're in fancy somewhere, you know, you eat out. And then at what times of the day are you going to do that? That will be lunchtime. And then it will be your Monday lunch and your Thursday lunch, whatever you're going to do. And then where is that going to be? Different places. What is your strategic plan for that? Because you continue to go to, I don't know, thinking you are going to meet somebody, though you go to the grocery store at 7 o'clock in the morning. I mean, I do. You know what I mean? It's just different things. Like, what is it? And are you willing to look at why it is your past relationships hasn't, haven't worked. Have you sabotaged that in a way because you didn't understand that you were in resistance to growth, but now you are? I think it's brilliant. And if you really see that about yourself and you tell people that, that maybe you're still in your life or maybe it's a relationship with your mom or your, and you're like, you know, I realize why we really are having a hard time getting along because I have been in, in resistance to really you know, being controlled by people because I was whatever your situation is. And now I realize that. So I want to lovingly, openly, and honestly speak about that. Like, you know, when you say you should, I'm in resistance to that because people dictated my life all my life, controlled me. That feels like, well, you should. Instead, maybe you could say, in my life, I, I have found that it's worked for me when a different way you phrase it because then you could tell this friend, you have a lot of good, you know, knowledge and life experience to share, but when I feel like you are just d pointing down at me like that, that doesn't work. Really, what are these things? I mean, what are we 100% committed to? Are we committed to having a better relationships? Do we want to spend, for example, your parents, I mean, if you really look, if, they, if they're if they in their, say, I don't know, late 60s like mine, and you're really looking at that, how many more Christmases, for example, do you really have together? How many more? What is your commitment to a different level of 
I don't know. You wanting to spend time with them or you wanting to actually have a vacation with them or whatever. Um, being 100% committed. What is your plan? Otherwise, we're just thinking about these things, getting no results. And what that creates is us having no self-esteem and no self-confidence. You know, we don't want to and are not willing to put up with the resistance that creates strength. You know, we are looking for our self-confidence and self-motivation and self-esteem and self-worth, looking at comparing ourselves to other people and how many likes we got on our dang pear and sprout picture, whatever it is. The only real self-confidence, self-awareness, and self-growth is when we realize that all that stuff is a load of crap and that we can actually actually compare ourselves to ourselves, set a goal, put some intention, have some resistance, and realize you got to go through the muck to get through to the reward of that, to the reward of you coming, becoming the better version of yourself. What do you think? Um, I mean, and stop seeing those things as failure. Stop seeing those things as, well, you know, it's just hard for me. I go to the gym and, you know, Betty Sue, she, she doesn't work out as hard as me. She's skinnier than me. You know, she doesn't watch her diet. Okay, what does Betty Sue have to do with you? She ain't got nothing to do with you. That's awesome for Betty Sue, right? I know some of those people. That's great right? Maybe she's not good at managing her finances. Why the heck do we care? Why are we comparing ourselves to other people? We are wasting time, wasting time, sitting around saying we ain't got no time, and you don't have any time because you're wasting time, wasting time, right? Stop seeing those things as failure and starting to see, you know, for example, I was thinking about something the other day. I, I like to really roll in other examples or thinking about other people's scenarios that are not just about food because we really can get results with food and with our pattern of behavior of a physical workout of of you know getting the prep ahead on the food all that stuff but a lot of times it's not the food that is holding you back it's not the fact that you can't become satisfied on raw vegan or you're trying to to not eat meat or are you trying to eat a clean out whatever you're doing you know rocks because that's what you've decided to do and I am supporting you for whatever you're deciding to do maybe you're trying to eat just a, a more free-ranged meat whatever it is I think it's awesome that you have derived and come up with some goals for yourself but what are the behaviors and when are you gonna do that and at what time what time and what place to really get down to making these things work. So thinking about that on different examples. Um, you know, I was talking to a good friend of mine about uh, somebody that I used to date uh, on and off for a long time. And you know, I have been, I have been single now for seven years. And um, part of that time I was still separated now, but I have uh, not just accepted I mean, we can all be with somebody. Like, I want to be with a complete version of myself first so I know that I'm not an energy drain and an emotional drain to anyone else. Furthermore, things coming into my realm and thoughts and being that are keeping me from becoming that, you know. But I have noticed and was speaking to a friend of mine about, you know, um, some things that would, would maybe have you know caused us to do the things we did or whatever could it's clearly you come from your life perspective from your life what you have come through and maybe somebody is completely suspicious of you and you realize you ain't you, they don't need to be suspicious though their ex-wife cheated on them for 20 years you know they finally had to hire a private investigator all these things or maybe like you don't like it when somebody is trying to say, yeah, well, did you buy that? Should you have, you should save your money. And you're thinking, don't tell me what I should do, you know, because you were controlled. Whatever, we have to take an honest look at that. How can we have self-growth from these situations, right? So I was just saying, um, you know, in the past when you uh, maybe like would check my phone or whatever because you felt like, 
you know, you were done like this in the past. And I, and I was like, why are you checking my phone? Like, why? No one owns me, right? And no one puts baby in the corner. And I will, in that scenario, back off you and you will be outside of my tight bubble. You will be outside of my inner circle before I can start to say it right? But what is that really teaching me? Can I really take that and look at why am I like that? Why am I? I want to have personal growth, you know, because I don't want to continue to experience these same lessons over and over, right? And when I trip, think, you know what? Well, fruit you, I'll just, no, well, why am I doing that? That's just an example. Anyway, um, so anyway, uh, are you really showing up? Are you really, are you 100% in? Are you pregnant and you're ready to rebirth? You are growing and there are going to be growing pains. And guess what? When the birth of you comes down the, the birth canal, guess what? That hurts, right? And there is resistance and there is a stretching of you, right? To birth the new you. There has to be a stretching of you, right? a breaking you down, so to speak. Have you ever had a child? I had two, and one of them was 10 pounds. And I ripped open, and there was 18 stitches, and there was, and it didn't matter. Because I had birthed what was the biggest miracle in my life. Always with the pain to get to the gain, you know? But, are we also still talking about the good old days? Like, are we just living in that? Like, that was our, our glory days. What about now? Are you like, well, you know, my kids, they used to be little. They used to be. I put out a video the other day, and when I put it over on YouTube, I, I did it here. When I put it on YouTube, somebody's like, yeah, it's really hard when our kids are grown and we miss them. And I'm thinking, okay, what, what I was dealing with in my life, which I, they had no idea because I didn't give the whole scenario of that. But, um. It's not that I mind that my kids are big. It's just was some things going on that what I enjoy today. I, I don't want to think, well, you know, my kids, um, no, what about today? What about the beauty in today? Taking those things not as th that being the story of who we are. How can you use that? Or that being the story of what broke you down? For the, what was the demise of you, right? I mean, what if I was to say, well, you know, my ex-husband left me. You know, he told me, I, you know, I was a piece of garbage. I guess that's true. You know, I'm unlovable. I'm, that's clearly not true. What are we internalizing, right? What are we allowing in our thoughts? Are we going to turn down this world long enough and turn up your nutrition, stop doping ourselves down with toxic chemicals we can't even think, long enough to really dive deep to birth the new you, a rebirth of you? What do you think? Hmm? Are you 100% in? And are you 100% in in a way that you realize you are not going to be perfect, you are perfectly imperfect, and you're 100% in in the way that you realize you're going to trip your way to success? And that pebble on the ground is not a boulder that knocked you out, okay? Yeah, it tossed your hair, you scratched your face up, you know, and all that. But on your way back up, you picked up that pebble, that lesson, and you tucked it in your fanny pack, your satchel, your pocketbook. And it wasn't the demise of you, my friend. It helped to build the rise of you because you have realized that it takes resistance to build strength. Did you know? I mean, and really, you know what it boils down to in my mind? Mastering. Dating relationships, is it easy to find like a, no, it's not. But it's a whole lot easier to try to understand other people when you try to understand yourself, right? Mastering the war against you. You know where the world war is? Inside your head. It's mastering the war 
that you have with yourself, the biggest obstacle you have to overcome ain't your friends and your family and people understanding you because they're not going to understand. You barely understand yourself, right? They don't understand why you're not eating pizza. You've said you were doing 20,000 diets before. Okay, you've proved yourself a liar to them and to yourself. Why do you give a rip? Mastering the war against yourself first, you know? I mean, are we spending time going on media and I have noticed I can spend all day hit or miss with questions. I will have hundreds of DMs over there every day. And the answer, it's like when I'm reading this, it's something that I've dealt with, mastered what I feel like there's always a next level. But in my life, and I'm like my brain wants to explode, I want to say so much. And one or two sentences, I love to be able to direct people to a video or whatever, but I also often wonder if they even follow through. Do they even take what I even was like, well, what was that video topic? And I look up on my YouTube with a keyword. I think, okay, there's the title. So I say, type in this because I want to make sure it comes up for them. Do they even bother to then close Instagram, go to YouTube and type that in? Probably not. That's too many steps. That's sad. So am I spending all of my time doing stuff like that? Am I spending all of my time um, running down people that aren't willing to get up and run for their self? You know, asking me what the protein is in like a sprouted garbanzo bean compared to, okay, I can look that up and I can Google it and get the exact percentage and I can type that out for you, but I ain't Google, okay? And what I realize is I don't really, I don't want to say that in a way that I mind doing that. I don't. But guess what? I've got hopes and dreams of my own. And I hope and dream that you want to think for yourself. And that I want to think for myself. Right? And I also realize that that, that doesn't work for people. That is, is a lot of times a person, maybe they don't realize uh Sometimes they may just be like typing that out loud, like, like, what is the difference? And maybe they're just wondering and maybe, I don't know, but I'm not answering it anymore. I'm just not. It's, it doesn't really benefit people. And so anyway, just all those things, uh, all those thoughts today that we really are having the rebirth of ourself. And there's a lot of pain to get to that gain. But oh, on the other side, you have developed more core character. You have developed more self-worth. You have developed more self-confidence and self-esteem, right? Because if you are gathering your self-esteem based on external forces, that's a great way to ensure the demise of your internal terrain. You don't have to be enough for anybody else just to try to master your own stuff, you know? So again, uh, what's the take home value is really rebirthing yourself. What are you allowing? Why are we wasting time, wasting time? We're busy getting busy doing nothing. Uh, what, what is your new habit you're trying to develop? Break it down. I will blank prep my food for the day. Okay. When and where I will make my lemon ginger cubes. I will. What are you wanting to do? I will start walking a mile a day. I will put in the behavior walk a mile a day. Where 
every day, Monday through Friday when I'm at work. Where the place is at work? At what time are you gonna do it? What time are you going to show up, right? And then proceed to do it, you know? What do you think? I was really thinking it is about what customs, what what goals backed by ri like ritualistic patterns to habit stacking. I talked about that the other day. I put that video on YouTube. Plugging in things when like you want to learn a new language. Well, you drive to work for 45 minutes and back. That is an hour and a half. What if you started listening to learning a language on your car radio. That's a thing you're doing, right? I mean, you could really do that. I'm not learning a new language. I should learn how to spell this one first. <laughs> Anyway, I went out to um, last night and stop undervaluing yourself in this world, right? I was talking to my daughter about that. That's another talk. Let me not go into that. But here's the thing. I went over to Greenville yesterday, well, actually Malden. It was like, it was like 45 minutes. So I drove over there. Y'all were with me. I was on this chat doing that. Picked Griffin up. We went to play bowling. He is the most well-mannered, balanced, energetic, though balanced, um, intuitive, smart child I've ever encountered. I know what you're thinking. Okay, Granny, listen. So we did that. There was no, I mean, you can tell him something one time um, because there, we, the lane we were playing on, um, there was other people besides that that were more like serious bowlers, you know? And um, I don't know serious, but they knew what they were doing, right? They knew how to type Granny and Griffin, like two players on there. And I was like, how do I get it to go down? And anyway, so as he's doing his first bowl, <coughs> and he goes up there to do his second bowl, he's not wanting to jump around, you know, and I, and he was kind of like stepping over. So I, I stood up there with him and as we walked back, I said, um, you notice how these other people, they are really like determined. They, these are like professional, okay, bowlers. And you notice how they're not like jumping around and they're concentrating. And if you're doing that, I'm just explaining to him why that not, might not be working. The next time, I didn't have to say it again. I didn't have to repeat myself. I didn't have to call him down. I didn't, why? Because when his mother says stuff like that to him, she expects compliance, right? They are up at the register at Target, for example, and you got these other kids screaming, mama, 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 want candy. Well, they're, they're addicts, you know, but besides that, does he do that at the store? No, they have a list, they go in. He doesn't ask her for that because she has explained to him why, first of all, they don't eat trash. Second, she's never wavered from the process of that, of being consistent, right? So then we went to, um, we went to eat and uh, I had was talking to him on the way. I said, you know, what's great about being a date because his mom says like he's the greatest date. What's great is if you, um, can order, like if you're taking a lady out or, you know, you can order and you can say, um, and you've discussed what you're having or whatever, you always allow them to order first. Or if you've discussed it, you can say, may I? And you say, um, my mommy will have or whatever. I was talking to him about that on the way. I didn't even know if he was really, he's always listening, but I didn't know if he was really focused on that. We got in there and I was also talking about like opening the doors and different things. I got the first door, but I looked at him and we went into the little area. There's two doors, you know, and he got the door. And we had talked about this and he said to the 
um, the hostess, uh, she said, how many? And he said, there will be two. We sat down and we had already talked about, well, we're going to get a salad bar or whatever. And, um, the waitress comes to the table and she says, how are you? And I said, fine. He said, fine, you know, and anyway, she said, do you know what you'll have? And, um, he looks at me and he said, um, I, and he said, um, my granny will have a granny salad bar and I'll have a kid salad bar. And she said, okay, do you know what you want to drink? And he said, um, we hadn't even talked about this. He said, well, uh, and he looked at me I, and, and then he said, we'll have water. And then he said, is that distilled water? I, I thought. <laughs> We were up at the salad bar and he is just so polite and I reminded him one time now, you know, if you're gonna serve, make sure somebody keeps this clean. Focusing what what kind of kids are we raising in this world? I cannot brag on my daughter enough. I mean and why is she able to do that? Because she can think. She is focused. She was talking about this morning, like, look, I was able to, you know, hustle up some more cleaning jobs this week. Like, this is why she was doing this last night. She needs some work done to her car. Like, she, and she was like, um, you know, I got a couple e extra Etsy uh, orders. I was like, you know, I mentioned that on, on one of my feeds. Anyway, and she, um, anyway, then she was saying, uh, that she was able to have enough money and she was over there she busts her honey right why because she feels like it she can think she is engaged in the moment it is awesome what do we want to be let's level up let's raise the bar on ourselves starting with trying to defeat the number one war against us the war in your own head against yourself you know what i mean we can change we really can we can have a rebirthing of who we are what do y'all think i love that hey josh how are you josh is on here live <laughs> Yeah, when we got there, I put on the Insta stories. He was, <laughs> he put his bowling ball down and he was doing push-ups. He was warming up. He said I was going down. I actually didn't lose. I, I was, I made a couple strikes. It was a miracle because <laughs> I've bowled very little, but I was really thinking like I enjoyed that and it was fairly affordable. It was a little bit pricier there but if you were going to stay longer you could have got like unlimited bowling but we didn't have that much time so it wouldn't have been that expensive but really i could get i could get on board because i felt like you know i was competing with myself even though he and i were up there together but um it's just phenomenal i mean it's phenomenal to me that i'm up there paying and um you know t talking about the amount of games and um he's listening and engaged like like it's like hanging out with another adult it's just phenomenal so if you are in my reset i will be opening that up you are to check your email make sure to check your spam folder you should have gotten by the end of the day today um, lots of emails from me. There should have been homework for you to be doing. There should have been get on it, okay? And we will be um, opening up the group. You will request entry. It is clearly a private group. Uh, nobody gets in there or out there without, you know, intention, okay? And so, don't be nervous. <laughs> You're like, what did I sign up for? And so, Anyway, and you'll have your journal and all that, and then we'll talk about getting an additional journal. But um, you can introduce yourself. You can you can play uh, the the Facebook game on there to to your level of comfort. You know, some people just like to even have like they just open up that Facebook um, page themselves to be in the group. I understand that, um, and maybe you don't ever want to show yourself. Maybe you want to show yourself every day. I 
I love it because it it comes to where you are. The plans come to where you are. If you're confused about what to do, don't worry. Show up every day. By the end of the week, you'll be like, I'm on this. I understand like, all my choices. I understand where I am. By the end of the month, if you have showed up every day, okay, you show up, I'm going to be in there chatting at least an hour live. You're like, I, don't, I can't show up. Okay, sometime during the day, you are going to commit to showing up and listening to that you don't have to be there live it's not a an inner and it's not a Q&A every day just on Saturdays um, and I won't talk a lot about I know this isn't for everybody but um just in case you are so just commit to listening to that every day and by the end of the of the month you will have all the tools you need in your toolbox to be successful you know you really will you can get on with this thing and, and I am excited about this new year I'm excited to be working with people who are ready to show up for the birthing of the new you right for their rebirth realizing there's gonna be detox there's gonna be well I'm not eating nachos with cheese no is that uncomfortable well if you've been eating that for lunch every day for five years yes it is uncomfortable but we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about all the things every last thing and right and then after and there's some more and there's going to be recipes there's going to be chit chat there's going to be ups and downs there's going to be overcoming excuses there's going to be all the things right hey fallon how are you so anyway if you have not seen the first of this video i feel like there was some content i feel like there's some takeaway in this video and I would love for you to watch it and I appreciate you being here with me and spending your time um, to, to listen and join in and engage with people and feel like that my words have some kind of value and add content to your life because you could be letting anything funnel into your mind right now and you are somehow feeling there's value in my South Carolina accent words right and that's a big deal to me so, um, I love you. Oh, can we have a song before we go? You know, I have a video I did years ago called Vegan, But Your Partner's Not, where I, I talk to so many people, they're like, well, you know, I just can't be with my spouse anymore because, you know, they don't see what about the things you do see eye to eye on or, or what about you think well i can't change because my family doesn't what's that got to do with you again looking for external approval for changing your insides for upping your game you know seeing value in every person that's what else is beautiful about the reset um and and beautiful about the community that we have created here is is it's a a community of love and light and uplifting other people you know um, I rarely see anybody I, I see people bashing me sometimes especially on YouTube but I realize that there are people in a in a part of their life that they don't want to change so they don't want to hear what they think is my nonsense right they, they, they don't want to do different so don't I mean, you know, I, I don't even mind. What's that got to do with me, right? Thinking about this, all these people that, for example, maybe you were into drugs, right? Maybe you uh, you grew up in a bad part of town, or it's like just a crime-laden part of town. Like maybe you. You hang out with people that sleep all day and pay, play video games all night and they don't understand why they're not getting ahead in their life. Though they see you starting to do different. Guess what? They ain't going to like it. Because they don't want to change. They don't want to experience resistance. And somehow that feels like judgment, you judging them, though you're not they're just having a little bit of judgment of their self but they want to quickly look away and they're gonna do that by beating you down holding you down and keeping you in the pattern and in the file folder that they have you in right they don't want you to expand because they ain't expanding they don't want to get healthy 
And so they don't want you to get healthy, right? You are, we are living in a herd mentality society, right? And you are attempting to pull away from the herd. They don't like it, right? They don't like it. And that ain't got nothing to do with you, you know? This song reminded me of that though. Love the one you're with. Love people you're with. You know, and maybe, maybe they don't belong in your inner circle anymore. Maybe you need to, to love them from afar. You know, maybe you've realized this person really does like sabotage me. They don't really, you allow them to sabotage you. Right? I'm going to take my chances. On my own self growth and self support before I hope everybody else changes and supports my new way of thinking. I'm going to take my chance on planning and prepping and assuming that I'm doing different in this world so they're not going to accommodate me because they ain't, you know? When we change our mindset, we can change our life. Yes, we can. Like-minded people, it's so nice to be here. It's so nice to have a community of love and light because for a long time, years and years and years and years, a decade even, that I didn't have that. And now I do. And I appreciate you. I really do. So anyway, I hope you have a beautiful day. <laughs> Messing with the dreamer. That's a nice